Uh, next topic, we're going to keep moving on here. We're going to NHL round two of the playoffs. Oh, boy. Your we get to talk, we get to talk about Hawks. Chicago. Michael's happy. <laughs> Up 3 0. 3 0 on the uh, on tres cero, Minnesota tres Wild. Trace throw on Minnesota Wild. Michael is happy. Michael, yeah, well, you get a little time to talk about your Chicago Blackhawks. Looking good, time. looking mm-hmm. solid. I know the, the last series, we were a little shaky, <laughs> a little up and down, mm-hmm. but here we're looking focused. Patrick Kane, mm-hmm. he's got roughly, I think, is like set, was it like four or five something mm-hmm. goals so far in the postseason? He's mm-hmm. looking solid. He's looking great. This is overall effort. All we needed was one goal. Mm-hmm. That's all we needed. Got the win. AJ, talking about Ducks and Flames. When the series started, I think we thought the Ducks were just going to roll. Number one team in the West. Uh, they, that was a right. They were at over like 15 wins against these guys mm-hmm. in the last uh, 15 to 20 matchups. I mean, just they looked like they were going to dominate the Flames. Flames came back, fought a hard, uh, yeah. had a hard game. AJ, uh, you think the Flames have a chance? You still think the Ducks are going to roll through the series? You know what? The Flames were pretty on fire last night. They were just extremely strong in what they were bringing, you know, forcing it into overtime and then having Michael Backlund score that game-winning goal. It's just we're in a situation where we have two very talented teams, but it's kind of one of those, are the Flames really just there for that one game or can they make it through the long haul? And I'm kind of thinking that the Ducks are going to be the champs here. Yeah, I think so too. I think I Ducks agree. are probably going to make it through. It's going to switch gears to the a lot, lot, lot of hockey. Uh, we got yeah, Canadians and, and Lightning. Uh, the Canadians, Brandon uh, Prust, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, was fined $5,000 for talking smack about the refs. This is the thing I don't get. I was watching, I know I'm switching sports a little bit, but I was watching the um, uh, Juventus uh, Real Madrid match yesterday. Juventus gets a call, they, 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 they get a penalty call, um, you know, a, a good call. Like they get, they're, they're going to have a penalty kick to score a goal. One of their players, they still go up and complain to the ref and get a yellow card. I'm like, wait, you got the penalty. They wanted a further fine. They wanted a yellow card or a red card. It's like if, if something's going your way or not your way, it's like this is the playoffs. Like, first of all, he just got fined. He's lucky. $5,000 for those guys, not that big of a deal. Yeah. But you can, you can get suspended. Yeah. You can lose playing time. These guys are veterans. When you're in the playoffs, just keep your mouth shut. Ah, I couldn't agree more. Let, me, let, let, let the coach do that stuff. Let the coach get fined. Let the team get fined. But don't yeah. you as an individual Even talk about Even if somebody's pro, you know, provoking <clears throat> you, yeah. you keep your mouth shut. you got to do what's right for the team. Because you understand, again, like you said, these guys are mm-hmm. professionals. These guys, they're veterans. They've been here before. They know what postseason action's like. You mm-hmm. know how, how important you are to your team and how you've got to be there. So even if someone's just pissing you off, you just right. got to bite your tongue and just keep on playing. Yeah, I mean, you got to be veteran athletes. Uh, last series we're going to look at here, Rangers, Capitals, series is at 1-2, or sorry, well, 2-1, Capitals. I, I think Rangers, former champions. Yeah. Uh, champions last year, of course. Uh, I, I, I kind of expect a little bit more out of them. They're not exactly the same team they were. The President's but Trophy this year. Yeah, you know? I mean, they look good. They look good, but the President's Trophy curse. That's not a good record. I mean, Buffalo won it. Oh, it's been like five to seven years ago, maybe longer than that. Buffalo won the President's Cup trophy and didn't end up winning the Stanley Cup. It's really hard to win the Stanley Cup and win the I President's believe, Cup. I believe, like I said before, there's like eight teams, I think, that have done it yeah. since its inception in it's like hard. 84 or you don't, you don't want to be number one overall. Don't be number one. <laughs> Do not be number one.